gonna place a bread slice right here. Now we're gonna transfer this to our ramen noodles. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. We're gonna add a hot dog on top. Internet cooking. A genre of content that has become a staple on this channel. Now on this channel, we have seen many people who have tried to cook with uh, little to no success. But today, that is all about to change. Except... Uh, actually, it's not. Sorry, I am lying to you. In fact, it's about to get much worse. Allow me to introduce you to the TikTok account, Silly Girl. Now, I stumbled across this account a couple of days ago, and when I saw the recipes that these people were making, I nearly went into cardiac arrest. Not only just from the pure shock of witnessing these inhumane recipes being carried out, but also just the knee-jerk reaction of my heart behaving in the way that it would if I were to eat one of these recipes. Yeah, the stuff you're about to see is why why America gets a bad rap. I don't even know if I should really call this stuff cooking. It's more just like a speed run to heart failure. I mean, just one bite of any of the stuff you're about to see and every artery you own would be clogged. So go ahead and schedule a doctor's appointment because I'm pretty sure just watching these TikToks is gonna have some sort of ill effect on your health. And let's begin. Please subscribe. We're gonna start by laying down some bacon. We're gonna add a hot dog on top. Okay, we have not even made it three seconds into this and I'm already ready to vomit. Now the long time viewers of this channel will already know how I feel about hot dogs. Spoiler alert, uh, it's not a very positive relationship. Why is it that every one of these weird recipes on TikTok has to contain a hot dog? Is it just cause it requires no actual cooking? I mean, two thirds of these ingredients don't even really need to be cooked. I mean, sure you have to technically cook them but at that point it's basically just warming something up this is just laziness so now we're gonna try to roll this over we just want to form a log just like that now we're just gonna transfer this to our hot skillet we just want to lightly brown it on each side here so we're just gonna flip that over now that we've lightly browned it we're gonna transfer this into the oven pop that onto our tray there we go. Now we're just going to pop this into the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. I just remembered that there's bacon inside of this monstrosity. How is this going to work? Is that even going to cook the bacon? I mean, I'm a fan of kind of floppy bacon myself. I don't like super crispy bacon, but I feel like this is not going to work. Now, while that's baking, we're going to melt some Velveeta cheese. We're going to start to mix this around and add two tablespoons of milk. Um... Okay, first off, I don't know what that was. Wasn't milk though. And what is it with TikTok chefs and Velveeta? I mean, I guess it just goes back to the hot dog thing. It doesn't really require any actual effort, but it's honestly getting weird. Every recipe like this on TikTok contains ground beef, hot dogs, and Velveeta. Who is behind this? Now we wanna take three tortillas and we want to arrange them just like this. So the first thing we're gonna do is add some homemade chili. Now for our second layer, we're gonna add some Velveeta cheese. Okay, let's check on our beef now, it should be cooked. Now we're gonna take our hot log and place it on our sauce, right in the center there. Now to top it off, we're going to add a little bit more chili. Just a little bit. Last but not least, we're gonna top it off with some cheese sauce. Is this like purposefully designed to kill you? No, like seriously, what is this? This is a chili cheese wrap that will literally end your life. There's gotta be like 18,000 calories in this frame alone. Okay, now the hardest part, we're gonna try and wrap this thing. And we're gonna take the sides, very gently cross it over. Same thing to the other side. There we go. All right, now I'm just gonna fold it over this way one more time. There we go, it's nice and wrapped. Now that I've turned it into a clutch, let's transfer it to our skillet. I'm just gonna flip this once more. Look at that. Now when that's done, I'm gonna transfer that to our cutting board. There we go. Cut her open and see what she looks like. Oh, that seems so nice. This looks like somebody was tasked to make a beef wellington with only the things they could find in a college guy's apartment. First off, where did the bacon go? Did it just morph out of existence? I see no traces of bacon. I mean, I don't blame it. If I was stuck in this, I would have found a way out too. I can confidently say this is one of the dumbest looking pieces of food I've ever seen. Burger, cheese, burger, cheese. Now we're gonna take a slice and we're gonna place it around. Once again, we're already off to a horrible start. I cannot trust anybody who uses American cheese. If I'm at a restaurant and that's all they have, I might demoralize myself just to settle. But in a home environment where you have choices, why would you ever choose American cheese? Why does this cheese have to be named after my country? Like it seriously could not write itself any better. Of course, American cheese is named after America. Just like that. Now I'm gonna place this one behind here. Lay that down gently. Now we're gonna do the other side. 
Press that up against the other cheese. And last one goes to the front. There we go. And now for some crinkle cut fries. I'm gonna cut these up nice and small. Okay, seriously, I'm not even joking anymore. What is with all of these TikTok pages and not knowing how to cook with anything but pre-made products? Like, this is not cooking. This is just assembling store-bought frozen crinkle cut fries. And you might just be thinking, well, they might just be making a side for the burger, August. No, no, they're not. And that's the worst part. I'm gonna take half a cup of milk, half a cup of water, one cup of flour, and one egg. Now we're gonna whisk all this together and make our batter. We want it nice and thick, just like that. Now we're gonna take some saran wrap, and this is where things get interesting. Now we're gonna take half our fries and place them in the center of the saran wrap. We're just gonna flatten that out. Now we're gonna take this and cover in some batter. We wanna make sure it's completely covered. Now we're gonna place this on top of our fries. Now we're gonna take the rest of our fries, and we're gonna place this on top. Very gently. You just want to fill in all the gaps here. I mean, making something like this has got to be grounds for an execution anywhere outside of America, right? Making something like this is so uniquely American that it almost hurts. You've got a double cheeseburger wrapped in cheese, covered in batter, coated in french fries, which is about to be presumably deep fried. That sentence alone would most certainly kill some Eastern Europeans. If you are not from America, I promise. I mean, I really do. We do not eat like this. We just want to push all this together. Now we want to take our saran wrap and fold it over. Do the same thing underneath here. Now we want to pop this into the freezer for about 30 minutes. All right, so now we're just going to unwrap it. Should stay together nicely. There we go. Now I just want to transfer this over to our ladle. Now we're going to deep fry this. This is nice and slow. There we go. See how that's nice and brown there? We want that all around. Just want to let that drip. I'm gonna transfer this over here. I can't wait to eat this. Oh man. So if you don't have any buns, you can use fries. I mean, this is just appalling. Certified tomfoolery, one might say. I am honestly ashamed that I am represented by stuff like this. Because I know people see these kinds of recipes and are like, yep, that's normal in America. Right here. You could have ended the video right there. Still would have definitely qualified as some sort of crime, but uh, it's about to get much worse. Next, we're gonna take some ramen noodles. Now we're gonna place that into our Ziploc bag. What are you doing here? You just wait, this is really cool. Now we wanna bang these up into little pieces, but you don't want them to be too small, okay? Now we're gonna dump this into a bowl. Got a little bit flat. Now we're gonna make some batter. Start with half a cup of milk, half a cup of water, one cup of flour, crack one egg. Now we're gonna mix this all together. That looks good. That's nice and thick. Now we're gonna take our sandwich and gently place it into our batter. Are the gears turning yet? Are you aware of the horror you're about to witness? If not, you're in for a ride. What in the five minute crafts <laughs> are you doing? I just wanna be nice and gentle here. Cover up everything. Now we're gonna transfer this to our ramen noodles. We almost have it fully covered here. Okay. Okay, this is what you want it to look like. Now we're gonna take our sandwich and transfer it to our spider. Okay. Oh, hear that sizzle. That's gonna overflow. I sure hope not. That's the overflowest. Dip that in there. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It just looks like a brick of ramen noodles. <laughs> The lack of seasoning in this video is honestly astonishing. I mean, if you're gonna make things this terrible, the least you can do is try to actually make them taste somewhat decent. Through all three of these videos, there has not even been a hint of salt. I mean, come on, break out the spices. You can't just deep fry everything. Not even the batter has been seasoned. I mean, just take this video, for example. It's gonna be white bread, a bunch of goopy cheese, unseasoned ramen, unseasoned batter, and oil. That's it. Yummy. Ready to come out? Yep. I can't believe how well that stayed together. I know, right? Must be the batter. Let it drip. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. <laughs> Listen to that crunchy thing. Can you try to cut this thing open? I'm gonna do my best, but I've never cut into ramen before. I know, right? Deep fried ramen bread. Uh-huh. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really gotta push down on it, though. Is that cheese melted? It looks melted. It looks like it is. I mean, unless we're dealing with like some law of physics defying cheese, I would think that it would be melted. I honestly think it would warrant worry if it didn't come out melted. You just deep fried it for 10 minutes. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Let's go. Amazing. That smells so good. I truly don't know how I feel about this. 
<laughs> I can't wait to dig in. Look at these heart-shaped heart attacks. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. This is definitely the best thing I've ever had in my life. That's the crispiest, crunchiest, cheesiest, amazingest thing ever. Mm. That's actually pretty good. Am I the only person who's like super grossed out by these overly decadent foods? I mean, does anybody remember a few years ago when fast food places were coming out with stuff like this? Like KFC made that one donut chicken sandwich? This kind of food and thinking about eating it just makes me feel gross. Not a fan. Well guys, my day has thoroughly been ruined. For the next 48 hours, anytime I try to eat, I am certainly going to be reminded of the monstrosity known as the ramen grilled cheese. Can't really say I'm looking forward to that. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.